just today and tomorrow left for the Invictus Warbond sales, guys. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I had to post a quick update because it looked like there was some confusion down in the comments and I definitely was not crystal clear enough in the previous video. So I'm reposting the video with this caveat at the beginning. If you're going to do the Vulcan and you're going to use the Hornet FCM Super Hornet to Warbond to it for five bucks, it does make sense. But you better buy the you better buy the non Warbond Super Hornet CCU right now, or you better already have a Super Hornet in your stable, either from a CCU or the sh already upgraded to this ship. Um, the reason is they are discontinuing the Hornet Mark Ones at the end of this event. They will no longer be for sale, and the assumption also with that is that. Obviously, if it's not for sale, why would you have a Warbond CCU available for it ever? And why would you have a CCU for it ev available ever, right? So if, if, you, if you're going to use that one $5 CCU to the Vulcan, I would recommend you get this taken care of ASAP. Uh, maybe just go to the Retaliator. It's another 5 bucks, Or you just go straight from the Retaliator to the Vulcan, okay? So... Having said this caveat and, and giving some additional clarity around this, I just wanted to make sure everybody is fully aware before watching the rest of the video that the, all of the Hornet Mark 1s are going to be discontinued according to SIG at the end of this event. So CCUs, Warbond CCUs, and the ships themselves should not be available anymore after this. Okay? There you go. And now, having added this caveat, I will let you watch the rest of the video and keep this in mind when I get to the part talking about the uh, CCUs that are uh, utilizing the Hornet, uh, the Super Hornet Mark I. Welcome back, everyone. Warbond CCUs abound today. We still have most from yesterday. I'm going to go through those real quick, but we also have some new ones. The Perseus is available. The Carrick still here. What else? The Valkyrie also present. The Caterpillar here. Aquila here. Vanguard Harbinger here. Or maybe back. I don't remember if that one was here yesterday or not. Then we've got the Inferno. We also have the Terrapin. Check this one out, guys. So it's 20 bucks right off the top. We've got some options here, and I'm going to go through all of them. The Terrapins come around twice now during Invictus. Uh, one, the first time was back in 2022. Uh, it was, it was, it actually came up twice during that Invictus launch week, and then now this is a repeat. But it skipped a year, so it's kind of rare, right? Kind of rare. It's it's had two or three technically total, but it was only two events, so I'm still putting this in the rare category. So. If you need it, it definitely fit it in now. <laughs> uh, let's go to the options for it. Obviously, the Zeus MK2 Mark II MR, uh, it has not had a war bond yet. It is still concept pricing. So with uh, what's this, spend 10 to save 20. Um, seems like a decent value here, but because this is a concept, I'm not going to recommend it again unless you're absolutely going to... Um, apply it before the Zeus Mark II increases in price or hits production. So that's really the caveat here. With this kind of a small difference and because of the price point, I don't see this going up to like a $230 ship or something. I mean, it could, who knows. Uh, the caveat here with this small of a difference, I would say you, you can use this and save some cash, but definitely apply it as soon as possible rather than putting into a long-term hold and wait strategy. All right, now having said that, the Saber Comet has had zero war bonds previously. Uh, there you have it. <laughs> uh, moving on, the Saber Firebird. First off, this is com is it concept and war bond pricing right now? I think it's just war bond because it's, it's actually out. You can fly it. So obviously, the Firebird has a CC, a war bond CCU going right now, so you can capitalize on this particular chain right away. Um, and because you're buying, it's released, it's probably not going to increase in price. And uh, again, you can lock in the war bond savings uh, by putting it over here and, and making that a uh, complete link here. Uh, I don't know how many more war bonds the Firebird will have, but it definitely has one right now. Next up, we've got a decrease in price. So the first one up here, the Zeus, was obviously 190 
the second tier is 185 the next tier is 80 and look you're spending 20 to save 20 so this is like the again the lowest ratio that we would go for in a deal and it would it would only really make sense if you actually had this particular ship in a war bond link already so if you have the hornet super hornet mark one over here and whatever else down here then yeah this this trade makes sense and the super hornet mark one has actually had two war bond ccus so overall not a terrible choice let's go see what the other options are oh that's the only one okay so now you're dropping down in price spending 25 to save 20 and i don't think the freelancer miss has ever had a war bond ccu either there may have been a special deal at one time and obviously the free CCUs do exist for it. What else? Cuddy Blues at 175 as well. The Cuddy Blue has also never had a Warbond CCU available. So the Wildfire hasn't. The Retaliator is the closest one that has. It, obviously, it's, it's live right now. But if you're going to go to the Retaliator because it's live right now, you might as well do the, the Firebird and save some cash. The Super Hornets only had, well, one event, but two, two Warbond CCUs. Freelancer Mist, no Warbond CCUs before. Cuddy Blue, no Warbond CCUs before. Saber Comet, no Warbond CCUs before. Really, it's, it's down to two choices. Either you grab the Zeus Mark II and apply this immediately, or very soon, right? Because I don't know the, the actual timeline for the Zeus. This would be a risky one if you're going to hold it for the long term. But your next best choice really is a Firebird, right? Because you can CCU any of these for less money, like even the Retaliator to the Firebird you could do, right? Um, it would be 10 bucks out of pocket because, well, you can't, you're not going to be able to war bond from the Saber to the Retaliator, right? I'll show you. Firebird. Do the war bond and it kicks it off the list, right? It's not up here anymore, so you can't do the Retaliator, the base Retaliator. So jumping back to the Terrapin, I, I will definitely say, uh, yeah, Firebird for sure. Uh, Zeus Mark II, if you want to just get it done now, and again, it fits perfectly into your chain and completes it, and you can apply it, then yeah, totally makes sense. Uh, otherwise, if it's a long-term hold strategy, I would not recommend it. I'd go with the Saber Firebird. The next interesting one we have is the Vulcan. Check this out. Concept with a Warbond CCU. This is fantastic. So it's a $15 drop in price. What are the options here? So this is the part I was talking about. So keep in mind, any talk here about the Super Hornet would obviously have the caveat. You must have the CCU to the Super Hornet before this event ends. So I wanted to keep the caveat in the beginning, but I decided to redo this entire section just to make it crystal clear. Uh, again, I don't want anybody to have some sort of a, a dead CCU chain that they can't, uh, can't work their way out of, especially if they're spending... Warbond money, which is new money on uh, on some of these upgrades. So let's start over. Oh, one more caveat. You can absolutely ask for a refund if uh, if you purchase this earlier today before me uh, re-clarifying my position on the Super Hornet here. Uh, if you already purchased it, absolutely ask for a refund if you don't want to spend the extra five or you don't already have this in your chain. So the Super Hornet Mark I will be discontinued again can't buy it again after this event or a CCU to it most likely and most likely not a warbond to it most likely so with that in mind this makes a great value deal if you already have this in your chain or you already have uh, upgraded to the super hornet so yes you can still use it but keep in mind that you won't be able to get to the super hornet in the very near future the freelancer miss is also a bad choice because it's never had a warbond CCU if they start changing some of these that have never had Warbonds, obviously my opinion of them will change as well. Cuddy Blue, also no Warbond CCU ever. The Retaliator, this is kind of the no-brainer perfect choice uh, because it makes a whole lot of sense. You're spending 10 uh, either way to get from this tier to the Vulcan. Uh, this way it's just uh, you know, a Warbond of, of 10 versus a Warbond of 5 and a out-of-pocket kind of store credit five as well that also adds up to 10. So you got to spend 10 regardless. It's just a matter how you do it. Uh, again, the Vulture is also an excellent choice here if you already have it. Um, if you don't, it seems like it's a pretty obvious one that'll come up. But look, if you're buying today fresh, new, or maybe just a new chain, Retaliator is a no-brainer choice because it is in the store today. Go grab it. 
Uh, after that, I wouldn't bother with any of these because you're just leaving too much on the table. Uh, Sabre and the Cartuel have both had Warbond CCUs in the past. They're both kind of in the rare category. Uh, and after that, you're just leaving so much on the table that it doesn't make any sense at all. So I hope this updated version is uh, providing additional insight into the whole Hornet uh, mess that SIG has created. I'm, not, I'm still not sure why they're just discontinuing the ships. It doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe they just don't want to have so many different ships to work on, but hey, that's, that's their call. And again, this ship right here will not be available ever again after this event. Not that you want to buy it right now. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting if you have this particular link from a Hornet Mark I to any other ship, whether it's the Vulcan or, well, let's see. What, what else might you have this in, in your stable for that you have to look at? Uh, wouldn't be a war bond for a Sabre Comet. Did you do this, maybe? Nope, you couldn't have done that for, for this event unless you bought a non-war bond. You might have done this. This might have been a possibility. So if you have a Zeus that you're speculating on and for some reason you went to the Hornet, uh, maybe check that one out and get uh, something to the Super Hornet, okay? What else? Uh, Connie Taurus doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Maybe a, maybe that was a possibility. That would have been what? Spend five, save 15, spend 10, save 10 kind of thing. So that might have been a possibility as well. A Super Hornet to a Connie Taurus. What else down here? The Vulcan's next, of course. But this Hornet Tracker to Prospector, I probably need to get one for the Tracker or to the Tracker, which is frustrating. Vulture 2, Super Hornet, but then I have, again, this is Heartseeker, and then I have Heartseeker 2, the Cuddy Steel, so that's not a big deal. So then I have a, a Super Hornet 2 Hurricane Warbond, two of them. So I do need to buy some CCUs from something to a Super Hornet. So minus one total because I've got a Prospector 2 Super Hornet. Okay, so it looks like I don't, have, I don't have any others that I need to upgrade or buy upgrades to. But you should probably check your stables and make sure that uh, you don't have any, well, any of the Mark I Hornets to something else in a war bond because you'll need to buy war you'll, you'll need to buy upgrades to whatever hornet that it is uh going from uh for all of them looks like i have two or three that i got to deal with and also i don't know what the a1 is so let's go back and uh look through that again super so here's a super hornet so those are probably the realistic choices i don't see anybody doing a a war bond, even, I mean, maybe to the A1, but I, I didn't have one, so I doubt it was possible. So let's look at some of the other Hornets, by the way. Um, let's look at the base mar uh, Hornet Mark One. So if you have a Hornet Mark One to, I mean, maybe a spend five to save five thing, on these 135s or to the ghost or maybe even to the ballista that's something you would need to check into um uh, 140 spend five to save 10 maybe totally possible that that existed so check that one basically run through your entire list of ccus your upgrades in in all of your hangers and make sure that you don't have anything that goes from a Hornet of any Mark I variant up to any other ship because you'll need to buy a non-Warbond upgrade to this particular Hornet, whatever it happens to be, uh, by the end of uh, tomorrow's event, it looks like. This would also go for anything that is to a Hornet Mark I, right? So if we had the Hornet uh, Ghost over here as well, uh, it doesn't matter what's over here. You would want to be able to get from the Hornet Ghost to the next thing in the chain, right? So check both ends of the CCU. If you have a Hornet on either one, um, doesn't matter which one. Definitely check them out because you neither, you're, you're either going to need to trade those in for store credit eventually and kill, the ch kill that chain, or you need to buy upgrades to or from any of those Hornets to make this thing work for the long term. 
again, I'm, I'm not sure why SIG has done this. It seems very strange. I don't think they're intentionally screwing people over. At least that's, I hope they're not. Uh, but I don't think that they looked at the ramifications of discontinuing a ship and not allowing the, the change to still exist. But I, I also see the point. If you're trying to discontinue a ship, you can't possibly have CCUs to that ship anymore, right? Uh, but whatever. I, I think they need a better solution for this. Uh, I don't know that store credits are going to cut it for some folks that have been holding on to CCUs for some of these for a while uh, that include Hornets. Uh, it's kind of a conundrum that they've put themselves into, and uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that they're aware of this being such a, a widespread issue, and I hope that they uh, take it to heart that uh, this could cause a lot of problems for folks that have spent money on the game. Yeah, I, I'm still not sure why they decided to do this. Um, I hope that they understand the implications because. There's probably a lot of people out there that have these and that aren't really thinking about having to upgrade to them uh, in the future because of a discontinuation. I don't remember ever having a discontinuation before. I know they stopped selling specific versions, like the the old version of the Cuddy Black, for instance, is not available anymore, but they still sell the Cuddy Black, right? So uh, this is a weird one. I, I have a feeling they're going to have to still allow CCUs and it almost feels like they're going to have to make it available somehow because this is really screwing over a lot of people's chains, I'm sure, that I uh, hadn't really thought it through. So so the Vulture's also a good choice. It's had like seven Warbond CCUs since it released. It's had seven Warbond CCUs. It's, it's a great choice. So right now you can grab the Retaliator, or if you've already got an older Vulture one, grab that one. Those are the two that make sense. I don't see the Hornet Mark II hitting the Warbond CCU for, who knows, maybe maybe they'll have it over the next coming months because it's a newly released ship. That's totally possible. Um, I just feel like it's going to be unlikely. Maybe it could. So the, the new ships tend to go on Warbond sale kind of right after they get released, right? They increase in price and then they go Warbond sale to get back to that previous uh, concept pricing sometimes. Uh, but this didn't really have a concept period, so I don't know if it's kind of earmarked for the Warbond CCU cycle or not. Um, who knows? But again, when you have two that are extremely likely to hit again, like the Retaliators right now, you can pick it up. So it makes no sense to not get that. And the Vulture has been so prevalent that I'm sure some most of you guys have one unless you just started playing during this ILW. So either one of those two make the best choices. I mean, even the, you're getting down to the 170, so you're spending 15 to save 15. Not a bad ratio, but it's the worst ratio we'd accept. And the Cartuel has had a couple, right? It's had at least two. They've been a while, though, and it was during Alien Week, so it skipped a few Alien Weeks, so maybe it's likely that it's going to come back, uh, statistically anyway. And then you get down to the Saber as well, the Base Saber. The Base Saber has had a couple War Bonds, I think three. One was last year's Invictus, or 2022 Invictus. Okay, so that's been a while. And then last year's IAE in November. So again, getting this far down the stack, you're still spending 15 to save 15. And there's so many other choices in between. So I just wanted to say I'm sorry one more time for not being crystal clear on the whole uh, Hornet thing. Uh, I forget sometimes that knowledge is not so widespread about the game and because I'm trying to give advice on saving and, and such, I tend to focus on that and don't think about some of the other things that I should probably be bringing up when talking about each of these Warbond CCUs. And missing out on the Hornet was kind of a, a big deal, uh, the fact that uh, not everybody has those in their stable already. Like I myself, am, uh, I'm planning right now to, to go off and, and figure out which ones I actually need to buy it upgrades too so the the chain can still be completed and i don't have to uh, kill off those uh those line items within my chain uh those specific links um so yep sorry again uh hope this uh information finds you well at home and i, I hope you didn't actually see my previous video it wasn't all bad information i just wasn't very clear that uh there's very very serious caveats to using any of the old hornet mark one uh, war bonds. It uh, looks like we may get new ones tomorrow as well, so count on a new video coming out uh, tomorrow with uh, the last day of Invictus for war bond sales. That's it for me, guys. Zytek.